Chapter 6, The Tool A big brawl bursted out on the Dutvutanian spaceport. Thillians against Dutvutanians, metal against flesh. Lupa dragged Pirazuka into the Zerzek, and since this was her creation, she brushed her elbow against a hatch on the inside of it. It opened up with a lever inside. Lupra pulled it down with all her strength. A wall flipped open, and there was a second cockpit. She sat down and rocked the interface into motion. Pirizuka's Zerzek spun around and broke apart, exposing new machinery Pirizuka was completely unaware of. Her docile-looking rock of an overseer base turned into a steaming monster of weapons and shields. Lupra clamped down her foot on a pedal and unleashed a barrage of plasma and projectiles at the spaceport. The great ship that, that Caesarus was in possession of started to debark. Lupra locked onto it and launched a missile straight into the barrel of its main cannon. Caesarus's ship was in the middle of cloaking itself into a dark cloud. The explosion that ensued sent a wave of bright thunder through Caesarus's ship. The dark clouds spun around into twisters that whipped across the skies. These were no ordinary clouds. They were controlled by something, and that something clearly got damaged from the explosion. Lupra immediately stopped. She put Pirizuka Zerzek in full reverse. This is getting serious! The giant ship tilted, and the dark clouds roared around like a tempest. The spaceport got heavily battered by the twisting clouds, like if it is being whipped by a hundred black tentacles. A cataclysmic metallic screech could be heard within the great ship. Its engines were failing, and its core was on the cusp of bursting. In a rapid hissing motion, the dark clouds collapsed in and destroyed the entire ship, resulting in a boom that spread through the entire skies and enveloped most of the spaceport. Still flying at full speed away from the carnage, Lupra dodged the flying debris of shattered buildings and burning metal. She flew the Zerzek behind a large cliff that shielded them from most of the hellish fire. From the corner, she saw the whole port come crashing down. She needed to escape. Everything was exploding and would not stop banging against her ears. She closed her eyes and went at full speed away with Pirizuka's Zerzek. A strange sound could be heard, but she did not care anymore. Just aim up and fly, and in the blink of an eye, Pirizuka's Zerzek rocketed away with breakneck speed. It was the Septoblade doing its work. Her eyes widened open, as if she saw God. The sky swooped by, the starlit sky dragged inwards. What once were points in the sky turned into straight lines. Everything turned from red to blue. Lupra saw the entire universe as a flat wall. Every planet, every star and galaxy shining at once. Her face was burning from the blinding light. She launched from the cockpit and ran back to find Pirizuka. She was cowering in a corner, holding her bunny. Lupra went to her and hugged her close. All of the already broken furniture and metal was crashing around like the inside of a meat grinder. And then, suddenly, everything stopped. There was an enveloping silence. No more sudden sounds of explosions. Out of the cockpit, Lupra saw a very familiar place. It was her home. The Zerzek landed itself in the soft grass of her front yard. How in the world could the Zerzek know about her location without her even doing anything to her interface? She walked out with Pirazuka and inspected the landing. Nothing was damaged. It is as if they just appeared here. She walked towards the Dutvutanian Septoblade. This thing... It is a tool to travel across space in the blink of an eye. Extremely potent. And why it is on Pirizuka's Zerzek is nothing she wants to even question anymore. Pirizuka held her bunny, who was scared to death at this point. She lay down on the grass, letting the bunny loose. The air of a familiar place finally brought peace to her. She closed her eyes and drifted off to rest. Lupra was still around, inspecting the septoblade. It was now part of Pirizuka Zerzek. She did not want to even touch it. She needed some help to control this powerful tool.